In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can divide polynomials by using something we've seen before, called long division. If we were to divide 631 by 4 using long division, we would put the 4 in front of the 631, and we would follow a simple 5-step process to divide them. We would start with dividing the front numbers, 4 into 6, once. Once we've done that, we will multiply this 1 by the divisor. 1 times 4 is 4. Then we would change the sign on the 4, we would subtract, and combine 6 minus 4 to get 2. Next, we would bring down the next number, bring down the 3, and then repeat the process. We would divide 4 into 23 and say it goes in 5 times. We would multiply 5 times 4 to get 20. We would change the sign and combine them to get 3, and then we would bring down the next number, the 1. And then we would repeat the process again. 4 goes into 31 7 times. 4 times 7 is 28. We would then change the sign on the 28 and combine to get 3. And if there's nothing else to bring down, we would say that there is a remainder of 3. 157, remainder 3. We can follow this exact same process that we use to divide using long division to divide polynomials. The only difference is, instead of having numbers, we now have terms. Let's take a look at this problem. 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 32x plus 7 divided by x minus 4. If we write it as a long division problem, the x minus 4 into 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 32x plus 7. We start by dividing the front terms. This time, the front terms are 3x cubed and x. If we divide 3x cubed by x, we end up with 3x squared. This step is the only time we only focus on the front terms. Now, we go ahead and do all the terms, and we're going to distribute the 3x squared onto both of the terms on x minus 4. As we do, 3x squared times x is 3x cubed, and 3x squared times negative 4 is negative 12x squared. That's multiplying by the divisor. Now, we're going to change the sign on each of the terms so we can combine them, making it a negative 3x squared and a positive 12x squared. The 3x cubed subtract out, and we now have 7x squared, and we're ready to bring down the next term the negative 32x, and repeat the process. Now, we're dividing the 7x squared by the x. 7x squared, dividing out an x, leaves us with 7x. So, we write plus 7x, and move on to the next step, which requires us to multiply 7x times x, which is 7x squared, and 7x times negative 4, which is negative 28x. We change the signs and combine. 7x and negative 7x are 0, and negative 32x plus 28x is negative 4x. Bring down the next term, the plus 7, and repeat the process. This time, we're dividing negative 4x by x. This gives us negative 4, and we can multiply negative 4 times x to get negative 4x, and negative 4 times negative 4 to give us positive 16. One last time, we'll change the sign on the negative 4 and the positive 16, so that the 4 subtract out, and we're left with negative 9. There's a remainder of negative 9, and we have our solution. Following the same steps, that we followed in regular long division.